Hey, this is Jay Lee. Hope all is well. Just wanted to thank everyone for coming to our UFO sighting event on October 27th, 2019 at Sequoia Park in Monterey Park. Not a huge amount of activity, but we probably ended up seeing probably anywhere from 12 to 15 objects. The most interesting object was the one that got away, of course. The wind was blowing northeast and the clouds were moving northwest. This object was going the complete opposite direction. It was going southeast and was seen for about a minute. It was flying very high up there, but um, I would say probably about a mile and a half. It was eyewitnessed by about 12 people heading in the opposite direction of the wind. It was so fantastic. But I wanted to show you a couple that I did end up catching this day. After we called, we saw a couple of zero looking balloons. We really didn't give it much thought, but the only thing that was a little bit unusual about these things was the fact that uh, they seem to produce uh, bumps. Now, this is a phenomenon that we have seen before. Now, typically, the surface of these type of balloons uh, remain very smooth, but occasionally we see some that present like warts, little protrusions that seem to come and go. This one only presented with like one or two, but we've seen some with uh, like a dozen. Could this be some sort of an illusion or is it just letting us know that it's up there and it's answering our call? Is this showing us something that is not what we think it is? I don't know, but please tell me what you think in the comments below. There is no wrong answer. I just thought it was weird. And like I said, we've seen stuff like this before. Here's an example of what I'm talking about. And this is kind of interesting. This one was actually captured in November 2014. These things may appear to be a zero or an O, but we called for them and this thing came. We did end up seeing another O or a zero later on in the event. And this is some of the stuff that we ended up seeing. We called for these things and they showed up. Is this just a coincidence? How many coincidences have to happen before it becomes mathematically impossible? If this is just a random event, do you think you can go out right now and look up into the sky and see something like this? Or what if you hung out for a couple of hours? I think this is the third zero we've seen for the day. So the only other one that I thought was weird was this one that looked like a cluster. As usual, this one came out of nowhere. It hung out for about a minute, and then as soon as I locked onto it, it took off. It was about a mile away, and I'm telling you, there's no way a bird could move this fast. This thing was smoking. It was absolutely not normal. But as you can see, it was a clump. I knew I had to examine this one more close because this one moved atypically. Now, the typical cluster is not so tight. This one almost seems like it's been glued together. But the thing that really stood out to me is this thing right here at the bottom. I know this is going to sound crazy, but I think that there is a hitchhiker on this one. Whatever it is, it seems like it's kind of holding things together. And if you ask me, it kind of looks like a crab. I know this whole thing sounds silly, but what if these things are biological entities? Are there things like sea creatures that will actually pile things on top of themselves in order to uh, camouflage themselves from predators? I've noticed that birds like to investigate their surroundings. Could they use a balloon cluster to help them navigate the skies? Could they use a balloon cluster in order to camouflage themselves? Anyway, I'd like to thank Fausto Perez, John Graf, uh, Shelly, Chris. Uh, thanks so much for your help for this last event. Uh, I thought it was just fantastic. It was great seeing you guys. And hopefully I'll see you guys next time. So for those who haven't signed up, please sign up for LA UFO channel on meetup.com and we'll let you know when the next UFO sighting event happens. I hope you guys liked the video and I'll see you guys next time.